The following segment is paid for by Las Vegas Pain Relief Centers. Can you imagine it has been 20 years since 9-11? My goodness, I remember it like it was just wow. yesterday. Uh, there, there is an event that's going to be taking place that is uh, celebrating those that have uh, really f fought for us. The first responders, the ones that uh, take their life and, 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 and give their life to others to be able to be able to support and to protect us here in our community. The Thin Blue Line event. We're going to tell you all about it. We are, and here to talk about it is Dr. John Petrick, back on the show this morning. Welcome back. You're from Las Vegas Pain Relief Centers, of course, and we're happy to have you. Let's talk all about this event and what inspired you, uh, you know, to create it. Um, well, it's obvious what was transpiring in the last few years. We've seen our first responders, uh, and they're responding to all kinds of various different frightening and concerning events whether it be floods or, you know, Mandalay Bay shootings or massive fires, you know, our first responders are always there for us. And <clears throat> last year during COVID, we just seen that uh, my brother and I were sitting here and we just kept watching the events unfold. And it just seemed like people were forgetting how much our first responders are there for us. And we just said, hey, we're not going to just sit back and take this. We want to show our support and let them, you know, especially our police force and the Thin Blue Line people, let them know that, we love them and we appreciate them. So we were you know, sitting around and thinking, what can we do? And we said, you know what, let's throw a party, uh, especially right now with COVID. People are missing that community connection and they are missing you know, the, the love for each other. So we thought we threw a party last year. We had about 400 police officers and other first responders attend. And we had some music and we had uh, steaks and chicken and we had all kinds of fun events. And this year we said, you know, let's do it again. Uh, you know, the sentiment really hasn't changed. They're, they risk their lives for us every day and let's make it bigger. So this year we went and we said, let's do a food truck frenzy. We got bands, we got comedy skits and entertainers. We got all kinds of uh, fun people that are gonna show up. We got old cars, Shelby's and all kinds of Corvettes and things that are gonna be there. And we just wanna really wanna celebrate all the, all the first responders. And then it being September 11th, and we all know that almost everybody can probably remember where they were at that time. And it is hard to believe that it's been 20 years since we were attacked on our own soil. Yeah. And we had, you know, 2,977 Americans were suddenly taken from us. So we thought, you know what, let's blend this. Let's take it not only from the police department, but let's include paramedics and let's include nurses and frontline doctors. Because, you know, now they're not, they're dealing with a different enemy. They're dealing with this pandemic that's certainly changed the whole world. So we reached out to the fire department, to the police department. And we said, look, we're gonna do this wonderful event. We'd love to have you. And the outreach and the response has been so fantastic. We've had police and fire departments contact us and uh, we're very, we're very, very excited about the event. Yeah, it's gonna be, it sounds like it's gonna be a lot of fun and that you really are throwing, I mean, the whole kitchen sink at it. There's so much going on. There's entertainment, there's food, uh, and it's a free event as well. well. Where is this all taking place? This is at the McKee Ranch, which if anybody knows is off of Dean Martin, 89, uh, it's 8962 Dean Martin Avenue. It is a, a ranch. It's called the McKee Ranch. And they, they are fantastic. It's a family friendly event. Let me, let me make sure I throw that in there. So there'll be pony rides and there's, you know, horses and llamas and donkeys and all kinds of fun things for the children. And at the same time, we have a wonderful stage presence. We have all kinds of bands that'll be there as well, but it is free. Uh, it is an event, and it's one of the things that my brother Jeff and I have put on. Uh, and we thought, you know what? Everybody's out there right now, and times are hard. Uh, and we realize that there are very few free events out there. So this is one of the events that we wanted to do is kind of give back, you know, to the people who constantly give back to us. Well, that's just awesome. I love your motivation. It's excellent. It's neat you're doing it with your brother as well. Do people need to buy tickets before, make a reservation, or can they just show up on the day of the event? Um, for the most part, everybody can show up at the day of the event. Obviously, to get a head count, we ask people to RSVP. Uh, it does make it easier on us so that we can make sure that we have all the all the things that we need. You know, we had to arrange for you know all the board bodies and all the food and all the and all the stuff to be there. So it was good. And again, the turnout is going to be fantastic. So we're really really excited about it. But it is a free event. We do ask them to RSVP. There is an event right, and it's been posted all over social media. So it's one of those things where if, if they would, wouldn't mind RSVP and would love it, would you, we just want hey, people to attend. You know what, John? It's polite to RSVP. You know, it helps the host. So we get it. Yeah, well, thank you so much for joining us today. It's and, good and, to and, talk to you again. And worth noting, by the way, while it is free uh, for entry, 
it, you are ho hoping that people are able to bring a donation for the injured police officers fund, which I find to be a great, uh, a great cause as well. Yeah, anything that anybody would like to bring for the injured police officers fund would be fantastic. We'll take all donations and we expect that uh, wonderful opportunity. So thank you so much. Doctor, great to have you. Thank you so much. Great to have you. All right, September thank you. 11th, it's a Saturday, the McKee Ranch on Dean Martin Drive. Uh, information right there on your screen. It's a free event, and if you can bring anything to donate to the Injured Police Officers Fund, it will be greatly appreciated.